Hi, my name is Brian, and uh, this YouTube video is an update on my aquarium adventures. Uh, I say it's an adventure because I'm doing stuff that a lot of people um, don't ever do with their aquariums. So uh, many of you who've seen some of my videos know that I built an eight foot by three foot by two foot tall uh, saltwater aquarium. And uh, about six months ago, um, I decided to sell the house that that was installed in. And so I took a little bit vacation from shooting videos, took the aquarium out, patched up where it used to be, and uh, sold the house. And part of the reason I sold the house is that uh, taxes are out of control in Houston. And um, part of the other reason I sold the house is I realized that where I had installed the aquarium just didn't make sense. And the house uh, was built originally in 1930. And it just wasn't possible to move the aquarium into the living room or the kitchen area. So I set out looking for a house with a concrete foundation that is aquarium friendly. And I located this house that was built in 1965 and uh, currently in the process of rebuilding the house. We've uh, stripped out all the insulation. It was substandard by today's standards and it had uh, a lot of dust and dirt and nastiness and we also wanted to upgrade the electrical system. <clears throat> and um, so the camera is in what will be my home office shooting towards where the aquarium will be installed. You can see the tip of the aquarium here. I actually kept the aquarium um, and moved it and then the aquarium is going to be installed here. It's going to be uh, a semi-peninsula type installation. And I say semi <clears throat> because there's going to be a closet here that uh, things will be installed in and then there'll be more equipment underneath. It'll be more of a standard installation. And then you'll be able to view it from this side. You'll be able to view it from in the office and you'll be able to view it from in the hallway in the living room. So, you know, one of the things I realized about the previous installation is it was really striking. In fact, it was, it was a gorgeous place to have an aquarium. But an aquarium in between a bathroom and a bedroom, uh, for me, I just don't spend that much time in the bedroom. Um, or the bathroom. So I didn't get to see my aquarium very much and I realized that, you know, I spent most of my time in either my living room, my dining room, or my office. In fact, that's probably where I spend the majority of my time when I'm in the house. And so I wanted to move the aquarium into a location where it would be very visible most of the time for most of the people in the house. <clears throat> now, when we purchased this house, the, uh, it had experienced some foundation movement, so we called in a company to uh, underpin the foundation. Sometimes it's called foundation repair, foundation leveling. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get into the misnomers and nomenclature. We did some foundation work to stabilize the foundation of the house. And then one of the other things we did is we updated the plumbing. And to do that, we um, cut a hole in the, in the slab, and um, while we had that open, we cut a slit and trenched over to here. And this is gonna be a drain for the aquarium because one of the things that you have to do are water changes and where is that water gonna go? In a bucket, in a hose, or down a drain? So I brought a drain to my aquarium. You can see that there's a vent pipe behind that goes up and ties into the roof and gets rid of any um, sewer gases and allows air to go down with the water. Um, <clears throat> the base of the aquarium is gonna be relatively high. Uh, I believe it's 48 inches, but let me just measure that real quick. Uh, yeah, 40, 42 inches is where the base of the aquarium is. I'm actually going to build a steel stand for it. Um, you know, after uh, thinking about it, I've just determined that, yeah, it's a little bit of extra money to build a steel stand. But hey, you guys watch my videos. Um, and uh, no, on a serious note, a steel stand is just a lot more durable. Um, and uh, yes, and I do make a little bit of money on, on the ads on my videos, so please watch all of my videos. Um, but I wanted to give you an update because there are a lot of you who watch uh, my aquarium related videos. It's really flattering. Um, we've hit um, a half million views on two of the videos, which is just staggering, I'm really honored. Um, I did not get rid of my um, oversized protein skimmer and um, I'm going to end up building a new sump or a pair of sumps that will go into the tank. So I, you know, I hope that you will follow along in my adventure with my saltwater reef tank as I um, 
design a new infrastructure to support it. So the, the highlights are that it's going to go in this spot. It'll be visible from three sides. There'll be a closet here, which contains the oversized skimmer. There'll be support equipment underneath. There is a drain here. And then I'm actually going to build a small fish room for quarantine and um, for saltwater makeup. And that'll be out in the garage. And then I'm going to feed three quarter inch packs from the garage to here so that uh, when I want to bring water in, I can just pump it in. And um, for electricity, I've brought three 20 amp circuits that will be GFI protected. So one of them is here for um, pumps and whatnot that are under the aquarium. One of them is here for things that are in the closet. And then one of them is up here for lights and things that live above the aquarium. So, you know, this is, uh, you know, sort of the highlight of the house for me. It's one of my favorite projects and it'll be uh, a lot of fun as I build this out over the next six to six months to a year. Thanks for watching my video and I hope that this update answers a lot of questions and um, you know I hope you've enjoyed watching.